Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to The Boys, Season 3, Episode 6, Herogasm. And one of the only, if not the only time I ever mentioned the title, because this is an event. Like, this was already a big event in the comics, and this episode has been hyped up since well before the season even started. Um, I don't know what it means. I mean, I can guess based on the name. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but the fact that this has been hyped up so fucking much is insane. And it goes to show that this is like one of the highlight uh, moments, I guess you could say, or segments or whatever from the comic. And, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what we're going to get into here. But, but apparently, what I've heard is that they are saying that this segment is basically inappropriate for all ages that it's not suitable for anyone and and even the uh a, a, as i brought up the episode to get it ready um on on my media player there's even a warning that basically says that it says some scenes may not be suitable for some really most let's be honest all viewers but rest assured that any consensual relationships depicted be they human, animal, superhero, or other, aren't real, harm to no one, and in fact cost a hilariously large amount in visual effects. So yeah, and that doesn't really spoil anything. It's like relationships shown and everything. It's like, it the it's called hero-gasm. Like, you can kind of get a picture in your head that you then want scrubbed from your head, um, about what that uh, could mean. <laughs> so, th th this little warning that it shows at the very beginning of the episode doesn't actually spoil anything. It's just really funny. Um, but yeah. Um, we've had a lot, of, a lot of shit going down. Soldier Boy is back, and he and Butcher are apparently teaming up. Um, Homelander is continuing down his path of psychosis just completely taking over everything pretty much um and everyone's just kind of having to deal with it like at the moment no one can stop him and that's what we hope soldier boy is going to do uh kimiko seems to be okay which is good um and she seems to have also lost her powers, which could be very bad, depending on what happens, but also very good for her. So I, I'm kind of mixed on that. Because it's like, it's what she really wants, and I'm very happy for her. But at the same time, what if something happens and those powers would have come in handy, you know? At the very least, the healing factor. I don't know, it just kind of makes me nervous, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it's, there's a lot that's been happening. Characters are dying per usual. <sighs> Shit's going down. And now we just kind of, kind of have to see where it goes. Now, I'm... I, I'm definitely interested to see what this episode gives to us, especially considering the hype it's gotten, um, but also obviously considering um, the warning about it and everything. Um, 
the fact that they're they're saying that this is that bad and i i heard on, on social media that apparently in interviews jensen ackles has been talking about how bad it is and like there was some crew member apparently he he mentioned that was like just kind of in a daze uh outside like the studio saying like he saw some shits and everything it's like okay the boys has gotten pretty insane and everything but what the hell is like gonna happen in this episode to do that um and will i be already broken and jaded enough to not be affected as much by it as i probably should <laughs> uh I, I i've seen some shit in media so it's hard to say if this will even actually affect me even if it is that bad um never know i mean I, again i don't know what to expect so oh excuse me um we'll see though we'll see um but yeah i guess we should just get this started put uh, stop putting it off anymore and find out what the hell has gotten the world talking. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. If it's after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. I, I don't know how this is going to come across. I, I don't know what people are going to think of this, but this wasn't that bad, like, at all. <laughs> There was all this hype, all this, like, build-up for Hero Gasm, and, and all this talking about how it's, like, really, really bad, or, like, really, like, inappropriate for everyone and all. It's like, it wasn't that bad. Like... We've seen the Love Sausage guy before, it can't be because of that, like... Was it because of the giant cum blast uh, towards MM? Was that supposed to be the reason for for it? Because the orgy itself, it wasn't really that bad. Like outside of the soup aspect of it, like you could you could go on any, any porn website and see an orgy video. That's pretty much not that different. <laughs> This really wasn't that bad. I, I I really thought this was going to be a lot worse than it was. I really thought there was, I, I don't know, going to be a lot more fucked up stuff shown. But I've seen worse in anime. I mean, you ever watch Blood Sea? That shit's a lot more fucked up than this. I mean, I don't even know if I would say this is the most fucked up I've seen the boys. Like, this was really tame. <laughs> is that just me? It, it, I, I, okay, I won't. Okay, I won't necessarily say it was really tame. That might be a little much, but comparative to what I expected. Comparative to how they built it up, I was expecting so much more. And, and don't get me wrong, the episode was great and the stuff that happened in was huge. But in terms of like the actual like inappropriateness or whatnot, it really wasn't bad. It really wasn't. Like I've seen much worse. In terms of sexual content, I've seen much worse via hentai. In terms of violent content, I've seen much worse. 
it's like and, and I'm not again I'm not saying it wasn't there there was no darkness or badness or inappropriateness to it but they really like over exaggerated things and if some of the crew working on this if this got them to have the reactions that they did like they should never watch certain anime don't watch Helsing Ultimate. God forbid, don't watch Blood Sea. Don't watch Hentai. Because if, if this bothers you... <laughs> and again, maybe it's because I've seen all that kind of stuff that this just didn't really impact me as hard. Maybe it's because of that. But this was really not that bad. I, I'm sorry I keep, like, reiterating that, keep saying that over and over, but it wasn't. <laughs> this episode was better, honestly, for the impactful stuff it did do. A-Train killing that racist piece of fucking shit, and then possibly dying himself. It's unclear. I, I really don't know if we were supposed to take that as he died there. Black Noir running, just bolting after taking out his tracker chip. Who knows where he went? Annie quitting and leaving behind her name of Starlight. The Homelander versus Soldier Boy, Butcher, and Huey battle. Like, that stuff was much more impactful here. That stuff was were the highlights of this episode. The orgy didn't bother me. It was an orgy. whoop de doo People are having sex. It's consensual. Like, yes, it was a little fucking weird seeing the deep literally fucking an octopus, but it's the deep. At this point, I'm just not surprised. It doesn't shock me that he would do that, and it, it, it's... It doesn't shock me seeing that he did it. Again, outside of just all the soup stuff, soup related stuff, it was just an orgy. It was just people having consensual sex with a bunch of other people. Whoop de doo. <laughs> Again, the violence wasn't even like as bad. Like it was probably one of the most like violent single attacks it was soldier boy like wiping out the entire house of people in one go pretty much i mean only 12 people died which is impressive uh shows how powerful a lot of these soups are that only 12 of them out of how many how the fuck ever many there were there a, a lot <laughs> um the fact that only 12 died is impressive. Um, and, and during all of this, we also had, like, I, I think just at this point, Annie and Huey are broken up. Like, they didn't actively say it, but I think it's pretty obvious. They've gone in two very different opposing directions. And, yeah. And then there's, uh... Frenchie and Kimiko, who managed to escape from Nina's clutches. Um, and unfortunately, because Kimiko did so and went ham on one of uh, Nina's men without her powers and everything, she's starting to see herself as a monster and saying it was, it was never the powers and everything, but Frenchie obviously is there to correct her on that and to help her through that like these two are just like the best couple like they, they're amazing they're, they're so fucking cute together and they'll get through this they will nina's probably not done uh harassing them though so i definitely expect to see more regarding that in fact nina's probably going to send an army after them at this point after that little incident uh, which that's gonna be fun and Homelander just 
this is this, uh, everything that happened in this episode is going to break him like even more uh there's only two episodes left in this season and let's see let's count all the things he was defeated not killed or taken down in any like big way but he was defeated by the team up of butcher soldier boy and huey um to the point where he actually had to run annie has quit uh the seven a train might be dead um black noir who um uh who homelander felt was the most loyal to him just ran he, he just ran for it and, and with everything that annie said at the end there the seven and vaught are in deep fucking shit like th this is this is what i took away from this episode this is the big stuff of this episode honestly the hero gasm stuff was so minimal compared to everything else about this episode um that statement that public live stream statement at the end was much bigger was much more important um that's that 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 was honestly more shocking than the hero gasm was honestly um and yeah, shit is going to go down. Ashley's going to be in a panic. Homelander is already kind of in a panic. I just, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect going forward. Um, again, there's only two episodes left, so shit you know is going to go down. Every season, shit goes down in the last episodes of, of the season. It always escalates to a a fever pitch at the end of the season and, and as it should and with everything that's going on i honestly could believe homelander going straight up super villain and trying to take over everything not just bought but everything the entire country possibly the world i, I think he's probably going to take everything hostage possibly start killing people indiscriminately He's just going to full on snap. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I was wondering when this season began, if we were going to get that by the end of the season, if we were going to get Homelander just completely losing it, just nothing left to lose, <laughs> which was used earlier in the season, the entire nothing left to lose line. Um, and I think we might be. After this, I, I think we might be. Also, I forgot to mention with the with everything else falling apart, Maeve is also we don't know what happened to her. She she might be dead, she might be in prison somewhere. We don't know. The the seven has fallen apart. Like the only ones I think still left right now are Homelander and the Deep. Everything's just falling apart. And Homelander's not going to take that well. As as we saw in here, he still had a bit of humanity left, and I think that's about to be gone. Like, and, and again, as I said during the reaction, it's very obvious that he was still very human in the way he acted, the way he reacted, the, his motivations and goals. Like, yeah, obviously he was doing this because he wanted love. He wanted love and attention, and he would do anything to get it. That was obvious. Look, that's been obvious. <laughs> Look, that was obvious last season. And kind of in season one, but not as much in season one. Um, yeah. And now that he's losing everything, it's going to it's going to break him. Like he said earlier this season, I, I think that was foreshadowing. If he has nothing left, then he has nothing left to lose. And he's, he said at that time he was fine with being feared rather than loved. I don't think that was true, but I think that's where he's going to go with this. I don't think he is okay with being feared. I think that was a bluff on his part. I think he he wants to be loved. 
I think that's his desire. But nonetheless, nonetheless, this is going to cause him to lose that last little shred of humanity he was holding on to. And mind you, that does not mean he's not going to be human anymore, obviously. Um, he's still very much human, and that still is why he is so scary and, and horrible and evil. But it's like he's holding on to that last shred of human decency, of, of ethicality and morality and whatnot. Just this tiniest little shred, and that's going to be gone now. And, and that means he's going to be willing to do anything at any time. So, yeah, shit's going down. And I'm kind of thinking, now that I think about it, and this is not the, the Homelander stuff anymore. I just thought of, I was just thinking about something as I was saying this all. I think this, I think A-Train actually might be dead. Like, I think that might be, like, not like a fake-out or anything. Because think about it. After what happened to his brother, he finally apologized to Huey and meant it. He genuinely apologized. And then, to get revenge on the guy who killed, or not killed, but horrifically injured his brother... He uses his speed, which he knows is bad for his heart, to grind that fucking racist cunt into dust, into a bloody mess on the road. But it causes him to have another heart attack, and then he just he falls to the ground and stops moving, stops seemingly responding. I think he might actually be dead. I think that this was the conclusion of his character arc. I could honestly, genuinely see that. I, I mean, could they still have him be alive? Yeah. But I don't really see anything more to do with him. Plus, again, using that as just to showcase how how far Vought is currently falling with all of this and how it's going to affect Homelander and everything. It's like that would be another nail in the coffin for that and would kind of be a good idea. I, th I think it would be smart to actually have him ha have him truly die here, to not have it be like some kind of fake out. I think that would be the smart decision. Having a fake out here I don't think would work. But yeah, so despite this series being called The Boys, the actual vigilante team of The Boys are completely split at this point. We have Butcher, Soldier Boy, and Huey on their side. We have Annie and uh, Marvin on their side, and then we have Frenchie and Kamiko on their side. It's like three-way split with The Boys. And will they get back together? Maybe. But at this point, their views are so diametrically opposed. Like, Butcher would have to actively see himself as in the wrong first for, you know, working with Soldier Boy, which I don't know if that's going to happen. Huey would have to understand how far he's been falling and how kind of fucked up he's gotten. And then there's going to be a lot that would have to happen to bring uh, Frenchie and Kamiko back to them. I think the only thing that would bring them back is if they needed them for something. Uh, maybe protection against Nina. But right now, as it stands, I don't see uh, Marvin and Annie working with Butcher and Huey anytime soon. Um, the boys are just going to be separate for now. And that's fine. That's fine. It allows for them to have their own stories. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, this episode was really good. But not for the reasons that I went in expecting. 
this wasn't as fucked up as inappropriate as gross and everything or as over the top sexual as i really was expecting as everyone had hyped it up to be it wasn't that bad at all it it wasn't like lacking in anything bad but it wasn't as bad as people were making it seem maybe it's worse in the comics i don't know um but here it was really not anything out of the ordinary for this series like it, the only thing that was out of the ordinary is it just had more nudity than usual the actual like content wasn't any more shocking than anything else in this series this was not like extra shocking or surprising or over the top with that it really wasn't again maybe i'm just desensitized to this shit um having seen it in so many other things but this really was not that bad in my opinion um but what else i mean i still very much love the episode it was still a great episode um i have a friend who watches this series who i see like at these game tournaments i'm gonna have to see what he thought of this uh we're actually there's a game tournament this saturday so i'll be able to ask him um but yeah that i wasn't surprised by any of that T take that as you will judge me all you want but i was not surprised by any of that really um at least again the hero gasm stuff either way tell me in the comments what you thought uh did the hero gasm stuff like w was that a lot for you or are you like me and have seen a lot of shit already to where that what really didn't surprise you much and that really didn't do much for you <laughs> um let me know your thoughts on all of that and more down in the comments below and thank you so much for tuning in for now i'm connie and i'm signing off see y'all next time